So about the tags, um, so we don't have a tags module. Uh, Ara and the Cloud Construct devs have been working on a tags module that is on GitHub, but that is not using taxonomies. And the um, decision had been made that we wanted a tags module that will use taxonomies. So they made one that was not using taxonomies because it was much easier for them to do and they needed that. So they, they could not wait for that. Um, and um, and um, then the design about using taxonomy was to create a custom editor for taxonomy that will just reflect something like a tags editor, but store the taxonomy terms as um, any other taxonomy field. That was the design decision we made. There are pros and cons for uh, both solutions, uh, using taxonomies and not using taxonomies. Uh, a pro for using taxonomies is reusing what we have. A con is might be performance because we store term IDs instead of storing the data, but there are ways to pre to optimize that by also storing maybe the data we want like we will do with a tag. Um, so we'll see what you have done. Yeah, so since this is still building, it's gonna take a little while because it's decided to, to do that. Um, yeah, so what I have done is um, a tags editor based off taxonomies. Um, so you're able to create um, a terms part um, and add tags to it. Um, and it all works rather nicely and without too much code, to be honest. Um, the only kind of big design choice is about how to add new tags. Um, because you can add new tags in the um, in the, the JavaScript editor yeah, very quite. easily. Yeah, two options with when you do, when you tagging, you might want just to be able to select tags, existing tags, or you might want an open taxonomy. Even without tagging, but you might want an open taxonomy where what you type is added as a taxonomy term automatically in the if you have the correct permissions, and that's what people do when they do tagging for a blog. They want to be able to type text and it will be added automatically. Or maybe they don't want, and then it's an option that should be on the field itself. Yeah, so the, op the option is there on the on the um, taxonomy field already for open, um, but I don't think we've implemented it anywhere. Nope, it's just, um, made, just made the checkbox. <laughs> yeah, just made the checkbox. <laughs> um, and of course, the reason that it um, hasn't been is because it's, because with terms they are a content item yeah and um, you can have more than just a title on them um so if you have a tag um you would probably have a title property or the display text um, well now it has so there is a display text so we could just use that by default just use that um so it's very easy to um, create a tag on the fly um, but if somebody has added another part to uh, maybe we can just support that for this editor, like done. And because we know it's a tag, then just just assign the display text and assume that it will work. That it will work. Um, yeah, and it is, it is totally possible to do that. And and uh, and then if it doesn't work, I mean, then don't check the box because if you think that just typing a text, well, when I say if you think, if the dev thinks that just typing a text should not be sufficient to create a tag because it requires more metadata then the dev should just say no, then don't create dynamic tags because it's not just about a single text, it's more things. So don't use this option. So we should just say that if the checkbox is, is checked, let's assume that only a display text is required and nothing else. Easy. Um, and the only other kind of choice as to whether to do that um, creation um, of the term just via an Ajax call mm -hmm. during the editor, or whether yeah. you do it post back to the driver. The, to a controller that is, yeah, and I'm not even sure you need to call the, yeah, you might, yeah, you need to call the drivers probably, or the update method. You, know, you just need to call the update async method on the content manager, but from a controller that is in the taxonomy and not the content controller, because we might want to apply different securities. Yeah, yeah, and it has to get the main. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the feature would, yeah. Just to please Sipke, we could even make a workflow, but we won't do that. 
Oh, well, we could probably try to. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that, uh, technically, that's what we should do, but uh, yeah, no, we don't want to depend on the fact that there is workflow just to. I mean, you know, maybe you create the content item with the with the display text, and then you what, whatever. Yeah. yeah, you create a content. Yeah. yeah, you create a content item with display text, and then you can trigger a workflow event. Yeah, totally. Um, could work. Exactly. Just create an event when a tag is created, then boom, do that. Even better. Um, yeah, and the other option was whether or not we, because tags normally have like a global kind of site collection of tags. Um, um, so whether or not we kind of create some kind of site tags collection um, to start off with, or well, if you just have to have many and you create them if, yourself. If we have a tags feature, maybe we could create a tags taxonomy when the feature is enabled, but at the same time, it's the recipe can handle that. Like when we create the blog recipe, we create a tags taxonomy and we create the fields and we link the blog post to it and that would be fine. Um, as long as there is a guide explaining how to, to use tags, how to create Tax taxonomies, that's fine. I will not try to create one by default unless we had a feature called tags and then we enable the tags feature, but then when we disable it, we need also to clean it. So I'm I'm fine with just ending that in the blog's recipe and then leave it empty for, or leave it with nothing for the rest, as long as we have a guide to explain how to build tags for anything. No simple guide that says, okay, how to add tags to content items. Well, enable the taxonomy, create a tax taxonomy, and done. Simple guide. So we can see your Chrome. You will do control plus, 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 plus. I uh, will do a lot of control plus, plus, plus. Not that many. Sean Thierry will love lots of control plus, plus. But okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I've made it here already, hopefully, if this is the right site. Is a taxonomy um, called site tags. And you can see how it's using the new toolbar from Antoine, the new menu from Antoine. Yeah, the new menu is great, especially down the side here. I just have to remember where it is now. Yeah, now I, I my only concern, and I, I, when I was working on the workflow I was talking about, I was looking for the queries. I couldn't find the queries. And then I realized, oh, search, crap, we talked about it last week. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly what happened to me, I said, will happen to everyone, it happened to me. I couldn't find queries, they are in search. So the search is, I don't know, we need to, to, to give it the name, or because for me it's just search, it's just, Full text search. That's what I see. When I see search, that's what I see. So that's not what it is. It's more querying than search or something like that. But okay, that's yeah, feedback. Uh, so that makes sense to me. But um, taxonomy. Taxonomy. Um, so what I've done here, and I was just experimenting to see what would happen um, or how you could use the tag editor for um, leaves as well. Um, but uh, so I have a, a taxonomy here, which has just got some tags on them. Um, there, another one has just got a title part on it, um, so basically just display text. Um, and then when we go into the content definition for a blog post, just have so I've got a couple of um, fields on here one for um, just selecting a single tag one for selecting multiples and one for a regular taxonomy 
just so you can kind of see the differences. Um, but on the tags field, we just select a different editor. Which is the tags editor. Everything is super slow today. Always when you were doing demos. Um, so we select the, the, the tags editor and then we can go to one of the posts. Tags editor. So you can um, see the ones that are selected already, add new ones, if you start typing. Um, we have a method here to be able to create the tag, which, as I said, does nothing at the moment, um, but is very easy to, to wire up to do, to do something, to set the display text is very simple. Um, and then when we save that, it will um, save the new tags. Do you do any kind of rendering? Um, I haven't done any rendering on this one at the moment, um, but this will just render with the taxonomy. Okay. Um, okay. Unless and we and also create a to... custom display. How do we call that? Display, not display it or display method? Whatever. Um, yeah, there is an option to do a display method as well. Um, but I looked at the existing terms display. That's okay. It really looked quite suitable um, to start off with, but we can have a. Um, a custom editor option as well, so you can have different um, overrides. Is there a way? I wasn't able to do that last time I tried for the media field to add an alternate text automatically. Um, maybe we need to look at it again. Uh, is there a way to store the display text in the this custom editor field? Like as a separate metadata on the field itself, such that it's not in the contract that a taxonomy field has the display text of the term IDs it's pointing to. But in this case, we could still store it so that if we know it's a tag, then we could just access the, the property, the content property of the display so, text. So you mean in addition to storing the, the yes. term ID? Yes. The so the driver field. itself will, will store the um, the term IDs, okay? But we could have another driver that detects it's a tag field or a tags editor and then also store the display text as another property. Yeah, we could, uh, that wouldn't be particularly hard. We could also do it also for every taxonomy, just as non-reliable data, but that could as be available, useful. As available data, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you could, yeah, it wouldn't be hard to do an update. But for tags, it makes sense. For taxonomy, I'm not sure it makes sense, but for tags, it would definitely make sense for me. Yeah, for tags, it does make sense. Um, one of the only kind of question marks that are around it is there's no, currently because the, the taxonomy is a, um, a content type, but the taxonomy part is a, a code part. Um, there's no way to have actual settings on the taxonomy itself. You can only put settings on the fields, if that makes sense. Um, so we can't actually say this is a tags taxonomy. We can just say in the the, the fields yeah. that choose to use it that they are a tags field. That's okay. okay. But I think that's that's generally okay. Um, Yeah, so that's that's what we have. Um, but well, yeah, I think we could add display text to it as well. So what don't we have? Um, what don't we have right now is um, adding 
the new tag. Okay. Then. Uh, and also, what I have done at the moment as well is I've just let it um, have all the leaves. Okay. Um, because that's interesting. Again, because um, I like it. On the um, taxonomy, you can't say that it's a tag taxonomy. Um, there's no way to restrict people down from creating leaves. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured it was probably actually just useful to have all the, all the leaves. Yeah, that makes sense. But the tags should just be flat, so that's okay. Yeah, but from the perspective of the person... No, that makes sense. I like it. Better. Um, and if you then choose to convert it to a, a taxonomy editor... Because that's super powerful because you could have a taxonomy that will serve for tags with different uh, hierarchies. And you just select the leaves, you don't know what hierarchy it's in, but as you pick up tags in the leaves, you implicitly categorize with other kind of tags the content item, and you could use it to say, oh, anything that has this kind of tags or this kind of tags, it just happens that they are in sub uh, tags of the main ones, but you don't see it as an end user. That, I like it. That's a, that, yeah. that would be super useful. It's just a nice bonus. Um, so it actually becomes quite a nice editor just in general for um, yep. yeah. Like you, you, know could I mean? have, you could have a, a tags that appear like blue and tall, but they are in different main sections like colors, and under there is blue, red, yellow, whatever, and size, tall, small, grande, whatever. But in the end, you just selected blue and tall, and then you can. You, you can reuse that knowledge like, oh, it has a size, oh, it has a color. So that, that could be super useful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're, they're very useful for that kind of enumeration um, taxonomy term. So open taxonomy, okay. and that's it. Open taxonomy, and that works. Okay, ship it. Make the open taxonomy, and we merge. Cool, okay. And try the display text thing, because that's what people we want to use when they use a tags field to just render the name of tags directly in the in the output, like for blogs. Uh, the, the, the next later step will be to have a, a tag cloud, but it will be called a taxonomy cloud because it will work with any taxonomy. So we can, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's really useful that tags fits with taxonomies because taxonomies are so useful um, that to get all the sure. old benefits, no? We'll see when all the cons um, pay, well, we'll see. With usage, yeah. people complaining that uh, it's too slow or whatever. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, absolutely. Okay, cool. awesome, John. Thanks, thanks very much I told you on the on guitar for the initiative that you took and to make it progress, that's good. Awesome. No, it's just nice. It's good to see taxonomy um, growing a little bit. They're um, very useful. We have lots of open issues. We need people to adopt them and fix them. It's great. Awesome. Thank you very much.